I'm not gonna get to see my party trick now. I think the dude's dead. Man, he was in a the jackass when he was alive. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. Okay, welcome back everybody. Uh, if you're new here, we are working on this 1925 Model T Ford. Today we are going to go over the uh, accessory distributor. It is our old one from 15 years ago. I believe this was Performance T-Parts that did that. And here is our new one from 2023 from Texas T-Parts. If you are not new here, or even if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. YouTube is deleting my subscribers. Uh, if you are already subscribed, please go on and make sure you still are, because, yeah, they like to play games, apparently. I know the guy that had Texas Tea Parts. I did not get along with him at all. Um, he sent me a water pump that was crap out of the box and it destroyed my brand new radiator and I was not happy with that and his response was you didn't buy it from me so it's not my fault Texas T parts was on the water pump so that um, that put him on my list let's put it that way uh, the people that took over are uh, Birdhaven I believe and I'll bet uh, I'll almost bet money they don't know that there's no advance in this like it's supposed to be. Um, going through here, I just went to get the wrench to put this on. And we're going through the list that I didn't pay attention to when I read it to you the first time. 10 millimeter, 5 16ths, 3 8 9 16 and 7 8 bearing grease and an ohm meter. This is a 13 16 Not. And I'm pretty sure Bert even probably does not know about that either. Because they, uh, they scooped the stuff. I, I believe they scooped this stuff up when he died, the whole, the whole business. And they're doing a, a great service to the hobby, for sure. But uh, I'll bet they don't know about it. Okay, well, let's get back to business because this, this is, is just depressing. Okay, screw camshaft with the flats towards the rent engine uh, until it stops and the engine starts to turn over. The front of the gear should be flush with the end of the camshaft. Okay. I'm not cutting generator bolt up. This, they're saying to cut this up. Okay. All right. You know what? We're going to do the we're going to do the deed here with the things. If there's no wow, there's no fitting for a wrench here. After sawing the commutator case bolt in two pieces and removing them you need to also re loosen the other two generator mounting bolts and remove the generator so you can slide the 3 8 stud in from the back and into position. They're saying to take this off put this five and a half six inch long piece on the end and then slide it back in, which means you have to remove everything. The intake, the carburetor, to get that to slide on from that much further back. That puts us all the way back to the mixture knob on the carburetor. Okay, back to the destructions. Okay, remove the radiator, remove the case, replace it with a five and a half inch stud, and you do not need to remove the generator. So in order to put this on, you have to remove the radiator or you have to take the intake and exhaust and carburetor off and the generator 
Fill the rear cavity in the distributor housing three quarters, uh, two thirds full of grease. This stuff is so good, but so bad at the same time. Place the distributor over the 3 8 stud. Install a flat washer, lock washer, and 3 8 nut. Okay, so they're saying this is optional. Put distributor on. Get it to go in the hole. Um, I don't know. I guess it's okay. It looks crooked from this. Maybe it's just the angle I'm sitting at, but it looks crooked. I'll check it in a second. I'm going by the machine line on here. Yeah, it looks like it's all right. Whoop, wrong way. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's all right. Well, I'll give him credit for this. It does uh, appear to be sturdy. Really sturdy. Connect the control rod. I gotta put the steering column in next. I haven't put the steering column back in yet. Looks like that might be integral to the installation, so let me get that done. See, I wasn't planning on using that spark advance, which all of this would have been done fine without the steering wheel in place. I want to show you something before I cover it up, though. I want to show you what. 99 years of filth looks like because that's been up under that dash and nobody's cleaned that in a hundred years almost so it's, uh, it's fascinating this is dirty that's a hundred years of filth <clears throat> and who who would wash oh I think I'm gonna wash my car I better get up under the dash no they never do you don't I don't nobody does so there it is. You can see the line where it meets the dash. So I don't know. I just thought that was kind of cool. A little bit of history there. We got that in. Where were we? It's a new day. It's uh, two stitches. Kidding, I hope. The jury's still out. I've got it closed up. So Okay, fuel cavity. We got that. Emotional support. Reboot. Timer cover. Okay. <clears throat> that is if we want to do this, which makes sense, but that bad boy's on there. Okay, can connect control rod to clamp on distributor and spark rod. Shown at D. D is for dumb. This is what I wanted to avoid using per the customer's request. And a can't. So I think I'm going to make my own distributor kit. Since nobody else makes them anymore. Anybody interested in buying a distributor kit from uh, Gen 3? Give me a few months. I think I'm actually going to... I, seriously, I think I'm going to do it. Talking to a foundry. A couple of them, actually. I'm assuming... Take a look at the destructions again. Okay, this goes in from the bottom. All right, we're good. Oh, that finger is killing me. I got it caught between the steering column and the dash just as it oomphed. Took a big chunk out. All these nuts were not made for American hands. Probably originally assembled by some child in China. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yep. 
wonder it wasn't tightening up. Yeah, my customer's not happy right now with this whole setup. Jeff, fa fa, fa fa, you're using an unneeded F. Jeff, fa fa. He did not want this. Ah, crap. I gotta screw this in here first. Okay, now round two. So if you're interested in a pre-order, I guess, I haven't quite got it. I mean, I'm not going to take any money until we get it all in the works. But if you're interested, put it in the comments if you want a distributor. I'm guessing that's far enough. I don't know why we need... This is adjustable. Why do we need this adjustable? And this is adjustable. Why do we need all these adjustments? That finger is killing me. And I got it wrapped around tight. It's holding the blood in. So that's good. This has got the dip down. There really isn't a whole lot of adjustment here in terms of missing the little water hose. But I'm going to go with down as far as I can. Okay, that's all we retarded. Hopefully the hose misses. If it doesn't, we'll have to revisit the situation. Okay, back to story time. Position number one, top dead center and compression stroke. Okay, this is where we're getting into it now. This is what I wanted to show you. There's a couple of people, well there's been many people on the on the, um, the forums. How do I do it? How do I do it? How do I do it? So here's, here's your lesson. Okay, step number one is we need to put something in that hole. Okay, and that something is going to go in here. Man, there's two, this is the original kind of clip. You put it in there and then you put the, the cotter pin in. I'm going to use that for now, but this is a reproduction and it just snaps on. That's going to be the permanent, but we're, we're going temporary at the moment. That in here. Right, we we'll get the pin in temporarily. All right, what we're going to do is I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to film this or not. I'm going to try. So what we're going to do? Yeah, see, I can't get the camera in there to show you. Remember what the pistons look like. So we're going to put our thumb over the hole. We're in gear. We're going to put the car in neutral. We're going to put the brakes on. Okay. We're pu 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 putting out of that hole now. I'm going to take all of these out just so there's no confusion. They're in there just to keep things from falling out, falling down in. So we're going to look in the holes. We're on compression. We're at the top. Okay, so what we're going to watch for is the piston's going to come up. It's going to hover. I'm going to still be turning just a little bit. It's going to hover and then it's going to start going back down. It's going up. It's going up. Okay, the distributor's turning. That's weird. Okay, now it's starting to go back down. In fact, I might need a little bit more. Okay. It's gone down a, a navy measurement. Okay, so the, the piston has come up. It's hovered while I cr kept cranking it, and it's gone down just a little bit. All right. You with me? That is where our spark needs to be set and we and to do that what we need to do is one we need to have power to the vehicle we need the coil and all that so I'm going to put that on next and then come back but right now we're at top dead center retarded ready to start we just need to to bring this around until it goes click and when it goes click and fires that's where you need to be we got wires 
Let me go to four. You gotta be kidding me. This is a free floating, free range coil. Okay, if I do end up making these distributor kits, they're gonna come with a coil holder. I got this on with the uh, old bracket. If you didn't have an old bracket, you're SOL, I guess. So I opted to postpone the pain of dealing with that by putting the old wires back on. And um, I've got the key on, I've got the battery hooked up. And what I want to show you, if I can do it, get them both in the same shot. So what we want to do is we want to back this off and then we want to come forward Did you hear it? That's where you want your timing. Let me just see if I can get you better. Whoops, that's just spinning all over the place. Let's see if I can get you a better view. We're just going to turn this a little bit until it f that plug fires. Right there. There's your timing. Lock it down. And uh, if you see when I let go, it moves. So I've got to do it again, and this time I'm going to use one hand. I'm going to I'm going to lock it down. Okay. Now also my spark rod is fully retarded. All right. Ready? That's where we want it. Now. To test this, I'm going to go grab the spark lever, I'm going to advance it, and I'm going to retard it, and it should fire when I retard it. Okay, here's our final product. You like my zip ties? Check it out. Look how neat that is. The reason it's looped up is this has to turn, so... Okay, ignition is in. We are done. I'm going to put a little heat shrink boot over that so it doesn't bump the frame. And we're going to call it today. Next video will be, I don't know, probably firing it up. I got to hook up some fuel line. The exhaust is hooked up. I got to do a spark rod, a throttle rod, a little bit of electrical. Then maybe we can hear it run. I'm thinking we're, uh, I'm thinking we're there. I'm going to leave the fan off for safety reasons until I here at Run and make sure there's no problems. All right, well, thank you. Uh, stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one.